This is this is too much money for these bills. Well, I guess I just have to put in extra hours just to get them paid again. How many hours you gonna put in? As much as it takes. Okay. Last week you did 39. That's 39 more hours than normal. You don't okay, need to Okay, well, put... are you going to help me pay them? If, if I could, I would. Okay, we... so you can't, right? So I have okay, to Okay, but you're not going to put in 39 extra hours. I'm going to do what I have hours. to do so that we don't become homeless. We're not. We're never going to be homeless. Don't ever let well, that come out your mouth. To work. No, we're not. We're not going to be homeless. I'm telling you that now. You know your mom and dad not gonna help. My mom and dad not gonna help. So if I don't get it paid, then it's well, not we got other family, but I'm not. We're not gonna be home tonight. Well, maybe I'm tired of asking the family. Maybe I just okay. need to handle it myself. Okay. I don't mind working the extra thirty nine hours. Okay. All right. It's just too much. I don't even understand how. It's and then you saying it's too much, but you spend a six thousand dollar hospital bill. Really? You can just put a, a band aid on it. How? If you would have seen how scraped up it was, you would understand that I can't just put a band-aid on something like that. Oh, I forgot. You was at work. Yeah, I was. So how would you have known? Business. You're never hey, around. Babe, you know what, babe? All the time when I was younger, I scraped my knee all the time. And you know what my mom did? She What's put you? some peroxide on it and she put a band-aid on it. Well, look at how you turned out. Look at how you turned out. What do you mean, look at how it turned out? And what are you saying? Oh, what happened now? You find another bitch? No, Kaylee's birthday is tomorrow. I mean, well, she just won't be getting anything. I mean, we don't have the money to afford it. You can play with whatever well, she got Well, we're going to find the money, too. I can just take some out of the, the savings. No, no. The bill yes. is already up to over $18,000, bro. We don't Well, have that okay, well, they could get paid an extra $100 or two. Well, now nah, I heard it. She is going to get some gifts for her birthday. She's not going to not have anything for her birthday. I don't know what type of parent she you think. She has I don't know what type of parent you think I am, but I am not going to let my daughter not have anything for her birthday. So you're going to let her have Lower your voice when you talk. You know these walls is thin. You know we got the cheapest place. So they can hear us. I know that for a fact. I'm sorry. My point is, are you going to really buy her something when we barely can even afford where we're living our cheap place now? So you would rather her have a gift on the side of the road than a gift in the... What do you think you're talking about? I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't sound good, good though. I'm not going to lie. Can you hear them? Not really. A little. Hey, what are you doing? Shh. Oh, my God. You're telling me to keep it down, and I just heard them banging on the damn thing. Well, whose problem is that? If you just stop yelling at me and stop talking to me, like you lost your mind, then I wouldn't have to talk to you like I lost my mind, too. Do you really think Mom and Dad aren't going to buy me anything? If Dad said it, I'm sorry to tell you, Kaylee, but I don't think you're getting yeah, anything. Yeah, it's my birthday. How could they not? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a good reason. Maybe what, they just can't afford to buy it. What good reason could they have not to buy a sweet princess like me? Like, look at me. Okay, I see you, Kevin. I look at you every day and I get the same disgusted look every time. Maybe they just can't afford to buy you a gift this time. Don't ever say that again. My birthday's tomorrow and I'm the princess of the house. Okay, what? so what, Kaylee? A princess? Obviously, you being a princess is not getting us you a gift, so it doesn't matter. It's not fear. I'm just saying it's not fair. You know what? They're going to buy me a gift. I'm telling you, they, they are. They are. And if they decide not to, I'm going to make them. Somehow. Well, if they decide not to, how are you going to make them get you a gift? What are you, a wizard or something? Maybe, or maybe I'm just an evil witch. I thought you were a princess, so which one? You got to pick both. one. I'm both. You can't be both. Cause you went to the, well, you actually, I actually, you can't be both because you are ugly. You can be a princess and a witch. You need to be nicer to me. I am your sister. My birthday is tomorrow. But, yeah, but your birthday is not today. I I'll be nice tomorrow. Actually, I'll think about being nice tomorrow. Watch. They're going to get me something. And if they don't, you're going to steal. I it's not like you're going to steal. Money. I said they are. And I just might steal it. You never know. I dare do that. I would and I would blame it on you. Kaylee, you're literally scared Wait. to go to the bathroom at I'm night not, without a nightlight. So I'm how trying to watch TV. Money? Could you leave me alone? I'm trying to watch TV. All right, well... Okay. Fine. I don't care. I don't care either. I'll be back. I'm going to the bank real quick. Bank and back. That's it. I said that's where I'm going. Kaylee is going to be so excited for her birthday. I got her something, but he's going to be super mad. I just, Father God, I just come to you right now asking, praying, hoping that you allow me to get this raise at my job. You and me both know that. That was the last of the savings. And we have bills to pay, but I just had to get my daughter something. I couldn't not get her anything, and that would have hurt my feelings just to see that her feelings was hurt. <sighs> I'm just asking you, God, please let me get this raise. Please let my boss just give me this raise, and everything be fine, and I just be able to put the money right back in the savings that I took out. I don't know why I'm stressing right now. I really don't. I know you got me, God. 
So I'm gonna put all my faith in your hands. And we just gonna celebrate my baby girl birthday. Oh, uh, I was waiting on you to get back. What? So, I went up to the front office. They said that as long as we put down $100 today, then we should be fine with keeping our place. So, you went to the bank, right? Yeah, I went to the bank. Okay, so where's the money? We can go ahead and head up there right now and get it paid so that way we don't have to worry I about it later. There's no, I, I spent the money that I took out. Okay, cool. We can just go get it back. That's fine. We no, can get a I, refund. Okay, get a refund for that. But, maybe, maybe, like, they can't give us an extension? What you mean you can't get a refund for what you I, bought? We, okay, I just said we can't get a refund for it, so we need to move on and figure out another one. Can you, can they give us an extension? I just told you we got it till today, so obviously we can't. So you can't ask them, because they already gave us a little leeway. They're they already being nice and giving us a okay, little leeway of $100, $100 when our rent is 1500 We don't have $100. Well, then, what you mean we don't have, I don't, all them hours I work, I'm trying to tell me I don't have $100 in my bank? I, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is we don't have $100, and I don't want to talk about it. So, so we, I need to talk about it, because if we don't talk about it, we're going to be talking about stuff out Outside. I'm not trying to live outside on the sidewalk while people drive well, past you, Do you think I am? You think I'm trying to live outside too? Okay, so if you ain't trying to live outside, what you spending money on? We ain't got money to be just throwing I'm out. I bought Kaylee a birthday gift. That's Why it. did you buy Kaylee a birthday gift? We literally just talked about this before you left. I said, Kaz, it's her birthday tomorrow. Okay, it's her birthday. So what? Man, you brought it earlier. What's for dinner? Which means why I'm yelling at you. You don't need to yell at them like that. I need to yell at somebody because if I don't yell, no, you at somebody, need to lower your voice. That's what you need to do. No, you need to figure out what you did. No, with you them. need to figure it out. I figure it out every week when I go to work for sixty plus hours. Okay, and I so figure it out too when I'm saying take care of the kids. Okay, so you take care of the kids. So what? What does that have to do? No, I don't want to talk about this right now. You we need to talk about it because where's the money? We need to go I get the money. Told you, to the I told you I spent the money. So you're trying to say basically because you, you're homeless. So you're going to tell Kaylee. Because of me. No, no, no. Don't don't put that on me because of you. Because you don't work enough hours. That's so your fault. Kaylee. That's your fault. So you're going to go tell Kaylee. Me. You're going to go tell Kaylee, happy birthday. I got you this gift, but we got to give it to you outside because we don't have nowhere to live. Why would I give it to her outside? That no, so that's no, exactly no, what I'm going to do. I don't want to talk about it. I told you. I'm done talking about so it. Probably we need to talk about it. Because we don't need to talk about it. Uh, pack your bags, we gotta go. Where are we going? We're going to Grandma's house? I'm not going to Grandma's house. We're going to Uncle Ray's house? I want to see Uncle Ray's house. We're going to Cindy's house? I'm not going to Cindy's house. Just pack your bags, pack your shoes, pack everything you well, came here with. Yeah, where are we going? We're going somewhere important. Just go ahead and pack. But it. where? I need to know so I know what to pack. We're homeless, okay? We won't be going anywhere. I have to find We're somewhere. homeless, Dad. Yeah. No, we're not. We're not homeless. Okay. Dad, we have, we're rich. We're not rich. I don't know where you got that from or what. Because Mom is always buying me yeah, mom is the main reason why we're homeless right now. Just go ahead and pack up your we're bags. Homeless. We're homeless because of mommy. You were right. We are homeless. Go ahead and pack up your bags. Oh, and we got to go pass by your school. Wait, wait. My birthday's tomorrow, so what are we going to do? All my friends know we stay here. How are they going to know where to come for my birthday party? They're going to bring me all these toys and all we're just supposed to. Sweetheart, we're not having a birthday party. You're not even going to have those friends anymore. I'm not having a birthday party. No, we don't have the money, don't have the money for it, baby. We don't have the money. And plus, we can't go to that school anymore. I'm going to take you out that school. We're going to have to... I can't go to the school either, Dad. Those are all my friends. What do you think? Well, which school am I going to go to? You're probably going to be homeschooled. You're learning. Homeschooled? How am I going to be homeschooled if we're homeless? You'll learn from me. Dad, you don't even... Pack your bag, sweetheart. Come here, Kaylee. Stop crying. <laughs> it's okay. Me. What a nice way to tell the kids that we're homeless. And then you go in there and you decide to tell them that I am the reason that we're homeless. You go in there and you blame it on me because I decide to buy our kids some clothes so that they can look presentable when they go out in public. Uh, Layla, did you see that TikTok? I just said you watch it. No, I'm not watching anything. Why? Because the last time you sent me something, it was not funny. But this one is funny. I'm telling you, it's a horse jumping on a hippo. Why would I? Wait, but I'm trying. Why would that be? Why is that funny to you? 
you? Because it's like a horse is on a hippo. That's Listen hilarious. Up. Alex, Layla. Alex. Mommy, I'm going to sleep. I'm to sleep. Hey, guys. Oh. Are you asleep? I know you're not asleep. <laughs> I know. Guys, I know y'all hear me calling y'all. <laughs> okay, then. I guess you won't get your surprise. Surprise? You said surprise just now? We yeah. weren't sleeping. I was only pretending to sleep because Layla over here told me. Stop being out Sorry. What's the surprise? Come to the living room. Oh, uh, no. No, no, no. She's you remember we got in trouble in school. And she told us not to leave the room. Yeah, you told us not to leave the room. How are you going to get your surprise? You might have to bring it to us. Nope. Close your eyes and come to the living room. No, that's a trick. I know that trick. Most people that get surprises, the people bring the surprise to the middle. on a movie before. You better not go in that Are you tricking us? Close your eyes. So tell us you give us permission to leave. I give you permission. And see, it's not a trick. Permission it's not a trick. Permission to do what? Permission to close your eyes and come to the living room. Okay, all right, that's, that's all you have to say. That's for me. Okay, well, Mom, I'm sorry for being such a meanie and 
Can I hold the baby now? You can hold the baby. I'll get the baby if you want to hold the baby. Yes, Layla, let him hold the baby. Oh. Give him back. He doesn't want to be given back. Give him back. Get the baby back. Now me and him are leaving. Go to your house already. Why are you pushing me? Why are you acting like a creep walking on a slow? I'm, I'm not acting like a creep. I can't check to make sure there's no strangers in my house. Why would there be a stranger in your house? I don't know. That's why you have to check to make sure. So there's no strangers in your house. The stranger's just going to say hi. You don't be stranger I'm in your house. No, you might try to kidnap us and you never know. Whatever. Yes. Mommy said what you get? Just tell her I'll tell her when she gets home. He said he'll tell you when he 
didn't get home. I didn't tell him my grades in private because they're just too good. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. He said he wants to tell you his grades in what again? Private. In private. Because I don't want to hurt Layla's feelings. Because he doesn't want to hurt Layla. Me, Layla? You're the only Layla I know. Because he doesn't want to hurt the only Layla he knows, which is me's feelings. Okay, well, I'll just see you guys in a minute. Okay, bye.
nothing. Come on. Have a seat. So why you being so mean to your brother? Because he got an F. Okay, so what if he got an F? That don't give you the right to talk about him. Yeah, but if I got an F, he would talk about me, so I'm gonna talk about him. You don't know what he would do because you ain't never had an F before. Okay, he's never got an A, so... That's enough, because you starting to get a little too smart at the mouth. Well, obviously, you want me to be like him to be not so smart at the mouth? Said that's enough. Now you cut your brother some slack because we don't judge nobody in this house. But, Mom, you said if we pass... Then we get to go to Six Flags. If we fail, we have to go to Grandma's house. And you think that gives you a reason to be mean to him? But that's a punishment. Bullying somebody and punishing them is not the same thing. Plus, you sure want to see a grandma. So obviously, you're bullying him too if he's getting punished for it. I just said they're not the same thing. Now I'm done going back and forth with you. You go get up and you go go apologize to him now. Hey, look. Uncover your ears or you ain't going to Six Flags. Fine, they're uncovered. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard you. Okay, so get up and go do it. Wait, what did you say? I said go and apologize to your brother because at the end of the day, you ain't got nobody but him. So go now. Going. Zaki. Layla, if you're coming out here to call me dumb, I get it, okay? I wasn't going to call you that. Okay, fine. Well, if you're coming to call me stupid, okay, I get it. I wasn't even going to call you that either. Hey, what do you want? Just coming to apologize and say I'm you? Okay. 
Okay, whatever. Zachary, you got a B in math, a B in social studies, a A in science, a C in reading, and an A in gym. <laughs> That is true. Well, yeah. this time I've been studying. Studying? How much is actual in the room? So you study and you said. But well, all the studying I've done, it got my brain kind of cramped, so I forgot that I was studying. Layla, let him enjoy his grades. Zachary, on my way home, I got you that gummy candy you was always asking for because I'm so proud of you. Here. <gasps> But him, on the other hand. So maybe if I fail, I might get something, huh? No, that's not how it works. Whatever. Oh, oh, and bro, I forgot to tell you. You would never believe Layla got a B, bro. Hey, who are you telling my business to? Oh, wait, bro, I'll be back. What happened? Who are you telling my business to? I'm just telling my friend about your grades. Why are you telling him about my grades then? Because they're good grades. Look at my grades and you don't need to be putting my information out there without my permission. I'm sorry. 
days. Why are you all dressed up? Where are you going? I'm going to go and check on your grandma, so I need you to watch your sister. I have to watch her! Yeah. Yes, he gotta watch you and your brother. You can't hire her as a babysitter or something. I don't need a babysitter. I'm a big girl. No, you're not. You don't even know. Like I said, I'm about to go. So don't forget to check on your brother. He in the room sleeping. Fine, mom. I do the best I can. Bye, mom. So back to this. Back to what, Layla? <laughs> Excuse me, pig and me. Where are they gonna get the money from? I don't know where I'm gonna get the money from, but I'm gonna figure it out. You know that. And by the way, where is she? I think mom left her phone and she was rushing out the house, so I just answered it. Boy, don't you know you ain't supposed to be answering adults' phones? Yes, I know I'm not supposed to answer adults' phones. You don't have to tell me that. I'm going to tear your little behind up when I get home for talking to me like that. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. You don't have to whoop me. I, I wasn't trying to be rude. Just let your mama know I was trying to call her. All right, I'll let her know you're cold. I don't know how I'm going to do that. We're old enough to figure it out. All right. Bye. Bye. I'm just gonna do 
pay for your grandma's surgery. Why you have to pay for grandma's surgery? Doesn't grandma have her own money? She's like no, no she, she don't. don't. She used to, but now she ain't got it because somebody want to take all her money out of her bank account, and now she got zero dollars to her name, and I gotta pay for my mama's surgery, or oh, she she ain't gonna be here no more. They took all her money out. Yeah, they took all of it, but you ain't gotta worry about it because we gonna call the bank. And I also called the police. The police said that they're gonna handle it. They said when they find them, then they're gonna put them in jail. And trust me, the police. Oh, wait, wait, how, how, do they, how do they find them? Well, the camera, don't, you know, on the phone that they was using, and you know, I got the little camera in the front part and just look at you. Mm -hmm. So that part, so they can see, and they can see what time so they So they can see everything that they did? They can see everything they did. They can see who did, they can see when they, they did. They can hear see what they said to They can see everything, hear everything. They know everything. Interesting. Yeah, so they go out in jail and they go in jail for life, so. Jail for life? Jail. And for stealing some money? Yes, stealing is like really, really serious. You know, you, well, Amber, that's a why did you ask all these questions? I just want to know. I was just curious. Well, you ain't still not for nobody, right? Alright, well, what about person? In the living room. Where? In the living room? What? Come on, yeah. Tell me oh, what happened. Oh, the TV, I think. You think? But well, what did you put in there? You're gonna go look at what, Mom? I what did you put in there? like that little boy? Sorry. So it's on the TV stand? Well, my phone and my purse in it. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye. See you later. Where your brother and your sister at? In their room. They sleep? Oh. Did they eat? They good? All right, you good? All right, I love you. Love you too, mom. I go to jail for life. She's in purse. All the phone. Look, okay, good, good. I'm gonna hurry up and just go. <sighs> All right, cold. Hello, hello. Am I speaking to Miss T? Yes, this is her. I'm so sorry to bother you today, but um, we need that money for your mom's appointment, or we're gonna have to give that day and time to somebody else. Okay, one second. Let me let me go ahead and protect her. Okay, ma'am. Take your time. Uh, see, what? it's just the worst day. I'm telling you, it's just it's just not my day. Not my day at all. I, I just don't. What, what am I gonna do? Um, mommy, what's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. Somebody took the money. But why didn't she stand up for herself? You know, put her foot hey, up. What? I'm trying to tell you what's wrong with me, okay? And you know what else, too? So I'm telling you. Okay, go ahead. Um, what does that have to do with why you're mad? I go and I go to my account and I'm getting ready to, you know, pay for the stuff. I got no money in my account. That's why we've been telling you to stop working from home. I mean, who even pays somebody to work from home? You about to make me mad. I'm, it's not the date. I keep telling you it ain't the date and it ain't the time. Okay, okay. So what happened to the money? I but it's fine because I'm gonna find out who did it and they'll give me my money back because I already called the police. And whoever did it, they go in jail. So they don't have to be here anymore? Beware! Like anywhere near us? Y yes, nowhere around. They, they, they can't talk to nobody. They can't do nothing. They can't. Who did it? How you know who did it? I saw them, duh. So who did it? Like Zachary! So you really gonna sit here and try to blame your brother? I'm telling you, he Told me. She told you what? I didn't tell her anything. 
thing. Layla, you said that he took my money. Yeah, Layla, you lied. I didn't lie. She doesn't even have any proof that I said anything. Okay, matter of fact, both of y'all gonna go to jail because I'm gonna call the police. I'm going to jail. You already told me the jail story. I would never do anything like that. Where are you getting them clothes from then? I got it from a charity fund. Why when I asked you earlier, you said you used the money at your piggy bank, so now you're lying. That's how I know you took my money, boy. That's not how you know. That is a charity fund. Remember, everybody. I'm not stupid. You, you got five seconds. To tell me the truth. Mom, I'm telling you. I call my piggy bank a charity fund because people put money in there for me like you. So it's charity. I'm going to call your daddy and I'm going to let him handle it. Okay, can you also let him know that I want the McDonald's fries? Boy, you about to work my nerves. I'm telling you. Go in the room. Both of y'all, matter of fact, go in the room. Yeah, come to the room, Lena. We got some stuff to talk about. Yeah, I got what to talk about. He's walking off like he did something. What? Asia. Boy, anybody that don't play games with me. I'm not playing games with you. You don't want to call it my name like you got an attitude with me. Anyways, let me tell you about your son. Go ahead. Tell me what he done did in school today. He didn't do nothing in school today. The boy done decided to take my car and take all the money off my car. And now I can't pay for my mama's surgery. And how you know he did that? Because Layla told me. Come on now, baby. You know they be lying on each other. How you know she telling the truth? Because I know. The boy got clothes back there. Look like he just spent about $5,000. $5,000? $5,000? Yes, $750 on what she say, a pair of socks or a shirt or something like that. Nah, uh, that's ridiculous. What you gonna do to him? I was gonna let you handle it. Let me handle it? Alright, well if I handle it, I'm calling the police. I don't, I think that's a little too far. I told him I called the police, but I ain't called the police because I don't want them. Why are you telling him that if you ain't really gonna do it? I'm scared of what you mean? If you don't call them, I'm gonna call. And you wanna know what's gonna happen if I call? I'm gonna call the whole army. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me, let me figure something else out and then we can just go from there. said she was gonna call me. So what were you doing yesterday at 5.30 p.m.? Um, sir, I was just in my room minding my business like you should. Don't talk to me like that, boy, for I'll put you in handcuffs right now but without even questioning you. So like I was saying, were you talking to your dad on your mother's phone yesterday? Duh, I was. And if you knew that, why would you even ask me? Yeah, I do know because I can trace everything. And also, after you talked to your dad on the phone, what did you do after? Uh and what else did you get out your mom's bag after you did that? Her wallet! And why did you grab her wallet? Because I wanted to, dude! Yeah, why would you want to grab your mom's wallet when you're not even supposed to be in a woman's purse? Have you ever heard about not going in a woman's purse? Yes, I have! So why did you do it? I don't know! You did it because you thought you were going to get away with it. Well, I mean, I didn't get away with it! Yeah, you didn't get away with it. So you know what happens to little boys that like to steal? Sir, technically I didn't even steal it! She's my mom! No, it doesn't matter if she's your mom. Did she give you permission to get it? No! Nope. Okay, so you stole it. Sorry, Mom. Yeah, it's too late to say sorry now. You're gonna go to the big house with all the other people that do things that you do. So you're, you're arresting me and taking me to jail? Yes, turn around. Now. <laughs>
You know, I'll always love you, right? Yes, Mom, you tell me this all the time. Why do you always have to be Because I have to make sure that you know that I will... You know what, Mom? What? I'm starting to think you're a simp. Do you know what a simp is? Or no, and I don't want... What? Okay, go ahead. Get back to my conversation, okay? Okay. I love you. I and love I, you, too. And I will always love you. And I will always no love matter you, what. No matter what. If you cut me off, then we ain't gonna have a Go, Mom, I'm listening. Okay. Like I was saying, I love you, and I will always love you, no matter what, and you will always be my son, okay? No matter what happens today, okay? What does that even mean? I sh never mind. I shouldn't even say nothing. No, 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 you're not no. gonna never mind me, Mommy. No, I'm but I'm going to let your dad explain to you because I do not want to overstep. You get it? No, you're not stepping on me. Just tell me. But I'm not. I'm, I'm, you just no, tell me I what you're talking I about? I can't because it's not my place. Your dad said he's going to explain it to you, so I'm going to let your dad explain it to you, okay? I just told you that I love you, and I will always love you no matter what, and that's all I can say, okay? Yeah, but why would you even stop Uno if you're not going to just tell me because the whole thing? Because you have to go somewhere with your dad. Okay, I always go places with my dad. It's, you act like I'm not coming back. It's a different type of place, okay? You don't know what's going to happen, so you, you know what? Let me put it like this. Do you know Jasmine from your class? Yes. Okay, do you know how she has two moms and two dads? She has two moms and two dads? That's not possible, Mom. Yes, it is. Okay, so her mom mm -hmm. and her dad aren't together. Her mom has a husband. That's not her dad. Her dad has a wife. That's not her mom. Do you understand it? So basically, like, she gets, like, double the presents, basically. Yes, on her birthdays and... Christmas and summers. That sounds pretty cool if you are, wait, why are we even talking about this? That's all I can say. I'm not going to say nothing else, okay? Mom! If you don't understand that, ask your dad and he's going to explain it to you. Hey, Dad, what is Mom talking about? What do you mean what she's talking about? She said that I'm going to see another woman and that she'll always love me no matter what. Oh, yeah, I'm dropping you off for a little over this lady's house. You're going to drop me off at another lady's house? Yeah, what's the problem? Why are you dropping me off at another lady's house? That's the problem, Dad. Okay, maybe I worded that a little wrong. She's not just any lady, she's your mom. My mom is literally in the house. I was just playing Uno with her. That other lady is not my mom. She's your mom and you're going to get to know her. Okay, so since she's my mom, why is she not here? Obviously because me and her aren't together anymore. What? That, that, none of this makes sense to me. You know I'm only 10. I don't get none of this. How about you just stay in the kid's place and wait till you get to your mom's house so she can explain it to you since you're so confused. Okay, so let me get this straight. I'm leaving my mom, that's not really my mom, to go to my mom's house that's really my mom? Exactly. So you do get it. So I have two moms? Yes. Like Jasmine in my class? How you know about that? Because she told me about Jasmine in my class. Who? And don't judge your mom before you meet her. I don't to meet the lady my mom already gave me the whole backstory okay so what's your problem i don't understand nothing just go ahead and she's a weirdo too oh yeah i forgot to tell you that now hurry up and get your butt out i'll be back to get you later hey so what you want to do um, I have Uno, Connect Four. I don't like Connect Four. Plus, I just finished playing Uno with my mom. Okay, so what do you want to do then? I mean, I don't, what do you like Let's doing? talk about how you're my mom. And if you are, I'm not saying you're not, but if you are, why aren't you taking care of me? I don't get it. Um, uh, I don't know if your dad was... I don't want to hear that. How about... Okay. What do you look... How about I give you $20 to give me some information? Where do you get $20 from? Your daddy got you working jobs now? No, I'm not working a job. Basically, before I go to school, I take snacks out my cabinet at home, and I basically sell them at school, and they pay me money. You my son. I used to do that, too, when I was in school. I ain't even gonna lie to you. How does that make you my mom? Because we, we kind of like, you know, you got some of my jeans, and you get... Yeah, but my mom back at home... You know what? The same thing Don't even go there. Come on. Let me tell you some stuff. Follow me. Okay, so where do you want me to start at? All the way on whatever I need to know. And what do I call you? Uh, mom. I'm your mom. Do you not, wait, do you not feel comfortable calling me mom? I mean, I don't know if you're my real mom. Tell me the story. Okay, so we were in high school, I'd say about 11th grade or so. Um, wait, so does that mean when I get in high school, I can have a... No, don't even finish it. No, just listen. Just, just listen. So it was in about 11th grade. 
Um, your dad was a basketball player. He was actually a basketball player and a football player. He was so good at both of them. So hey. why is he in the NBA or NFL? Do you want to know how I'm your mama or no? Yes. We're not talking about your daddy, but we're talking yes. about your daddy. Yes. Okay. And I was a cheerleader and I was on the volleyball team. Um, so yeah, we used to, you know, go to each other's games or whatever. Um, he was just so like dreamy and he became my boyfriend. I became his girlfriend, you know. Um, we had class together one day, and then this this lady came in. Uh, let me just say, it, this girl came in the classroom, and your dad just kept on making googly eyes with her. Like he like. Are her. you talking about my mom? She's not your mom. I'm your mom. Okay. Well, are you talking about my fake mom? Yes. Whatever you want to call it. fake mom, real no fake mom, stepmom. Don't call your real mom. But anyway, so she came between me and your dad. Your dad was like the love of my life, and I was the love of his life, obviously. But then when she came in the picture, she broke us up, and yeah, by that time I was already, you know, having you in the oven, and you were just baking. Wait, so I came out of oven? I don't think I should go in depth with you. Just not I, you was in my stomach. How did I get out? That's another conversation for another day. Okay. And, I mean, yeah, that's about it. And then by the time I tried to tell your dad, your dad didn't want to be with me, but he wanted you. And then we had to go through all these things with the judge, you know, when they go, with their little thing. So how come they're not in it, but the judge gets to tell you what to do? That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, your dad took me to, to court, and he tried to send me to jail if I didn't give him Did you, you go in there? Did they make you pick up a soul? Pick up? What are you talking I've heard about that. Like, I'm watching on Nickelodeon. Like, they make you pick up okay. a soul if you drop no, it. No, I didn't pick so, you didn't jump it, did you? No, I didn't Who? jump it. What did I even... I don't want you to know. Just carry on. Okay, so yeah. So they basically said that I was either going to go to jail or I can give you to your dad. Okay, so I get all of that, but why did you wait so long for me to see you? We had an agreement that you had to be a certain age. And if I tried to contact you while you was younger than, how old are you now? I'm nine. Okay, so if I contact you while you were younger than nine, then your dad would send me to jail. Because he didn't want you to know that I was your mom. Well, now I know you're my mom. So what does that make the other lady? She's my mom too, right? She's whatever you want her to be. If you want her to be your dog, she can be your dog. I really don't care. Okay, so... I think I got it all. So you're my mom. Mm -hmm. She's my fake mom. Yeah. But my dad is also a ch Yeah. Hello? I'm about to pull up outside. Come on out. Wait, you're here already? Dude, I said I'm here. Why you sound like you don't want to leave when you didn't even want to come over here? I mean, yeah, when I got here, I wanted to leave. But now I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of happy to stay. Well, too bad, boy. You got school tomorrow. I know I have school tomorrow, but can I just... Don't try showing out because you with your mama. I really put on a show, little boy. Please. Okay, but here. I was just gonna say my dad's like a cheater, isn't he? Yeah, he's a cheater. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Here, here's a hundred dollars. Um, if if you would like to come back and spend more time with me, you are always. Can welcome. I come every weekend? Yes, that is fine. Every Does that weekend. mean like I get money every time I come? Yeah, you get money like from a dollar to maybe five dollars. Okay, can I have a hug? Yes. Oh, I love you, real mom. I love you too, real son. So much. I well, I missed you too. I didn't really think about you while I was gone, but that's because I was too busy getting information. What type of information you want? Well, basically, my dad's a cheater. What? Yeah, he's a cheater. Hey, no, what do you mean he's a cheater? Okay, so basically, I went to my mom's house. When I got in the door, I said, "What are we gonna do?" Uh huh. Well, I don't really know her. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I know her now, but I don't really. Yeah, know now her. you know her, but I know you didn't know her before you walked in the door, right? Yeah, exactly. Thank so you. I said, "What are we gonna do?" She said, "Let's play a game." Well, I just finished playing a game with my mom, so I don't want to play anymore games. I need to. It's called a step mom. But I don't step on you. Why is it called that, mom? Just go ahead. Finish. Okay, so anyways, I told her that I'll pay her for some information. But well, where you get have, money from? Well, I might have sold some snacks at school. Snacks from where? Mm -hmm. My pantry home? Yeah. yeah, I do it later. Go ahead, finish your story. Well, I told her I'll sell snacks, and I tried to offer her some money for some information. Yeah. And basically, she didn't want to take the money, but she did take me to the kitchen, and she told me the information. What type of information? So basically, my mom met my dad 
in high school. Yes, I know that. They were in love of each other's life. They wasn't in love of each other's life. Me and him was the love of each other's life. Mom, are you telling the story or me? No, I'm sorry. I just You're, I'm trying to tell you what I heard. Oh, go ahead. Tell so me what you heard. Basically, they were in love of each other's life. And basically, you came along. You were the new girl in school. And you played softball. Yes, I did. Yeah, and my dad played basketball. And you two started hooking up. That's what he told me. What are you even talking about? That's what my mom told me happened. And basically, they broke up. And you guys got together. And that's how she's my real mom. And you're my fake mom. Okay, if that's the story she told you, that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, so basically, my dad's a cheater. But I don't want to be like my What do you dad. mean a cheater? Who who cheated on who? What do you mean? My dad cheated on my mom with you. No, Duh. he did He told me to do Wait, he told you something else? Yeah, he did. You sure she... You know what? I'm going to find out. Am I in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. Alright, well, can I spend this money on No, you're going to wait and you're going to give me my $20 at all after I deal with your daddy. Okay, Mom. Love you. I love you too. Bye. What's up, baby girl? I'm back home. Mm-hmm.